Hi everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of July, 2021. This is video number 68. A big welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello to everyone who's been following me all this time. So I have lots to share, lots of cross stitch news. I've got some great free charts to tell you about. New releases will be shown at the end of the video. We have giveaway winners from two videos back, so stay tuned, we're gonna have some fun. I wanted to, first of all, more than anything, thank all of you for buying me a coffee, which means donating to my channel. There is a link down below in the show notes. And I wanna just tell you guys, thank you for those of you who have donated, it means a lot. It, as you know from prior videos, I've mentioned that those donations always go back to you in forms of giveaways and shipping costs. When you win a giveaway on my channel, I do ship international. It, you will never pay for shipping. This is, this is something I really enjoy doing. So those donations go towards that. And I really appreciate everybody doing that for me. I mailed a package last week for a giveaway winner and it went to Australia. And sometimes shipping costs can be anywhere from 14 to $18 just for a little tiny thing of thread. It's, it's Shipping can be kind of crazy. So thank you for your donations. I really appreciate that a lot. July 14th. Do you guys know what that is? <laughs> I, me I mentioned it on my last video. One, it means a new start for me because I'm celebrating Ellen's birthday. She is a floss tuber. She's very... She's a wonderful person and I enjoy talking with her, messaging with her. Her floss tube is maximum cross stitch power hour. And Ellen, I wanna wish you a happy birthday. Today is her birthday and we're all starting. I saw her post on Instagram that she's got everything together. My threads and fabric are all downstairs, but I did bring the chart to show you. We're all starting Mary Griffith, 1873 by GGR. I chose the cotton threads, the um, Weak Style Works, Gentle Arts, and a few DMC. You know, I didn't see, I don't know what list I was looking at for colors, but I didn't see DMC was an option. I just saw the Weak Style Works and the Gentle Arts. So the Weeks, there is a conversion for DMC if you're interested in doing the chart. So again, this will be my first GGR that I've ever done. I think the reds in this are just so beautiful. I think the chart's pretty. So anyway, we're starting in honor of Ellen celebrating her birthday. I hope you have a really good day today and know that I'm thinking about you. And of course I'll be thinking about you while I start this today. <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, let's talk about some more cross stitch news. I wanted to mention that I was supposed to post a beginner video all on fabric and things we can stitch on. Now, um, it was supposed to be last week. I did not get a chance to post it. We just had such a sad week. My 15 year old cat, Butt Butt is her name, passed away. We have been, ha she'd been having some medical problems for about a month and she had been in and out of the vet and we just didn't get a diagnosis. We didn't know what was wrong. She had a lot of vomiting. And then finally she got to where she wouldn't eat. She was on special food. Long story short, finally on 4th of July, of course it's gonna be a holiday weekend, we had to take her to emergency. My husband, and she had been on two different courses of antibiotics because they said she had an upper respiratory infection. So my husband waited three hours and they said, hey, we're not gonna be able to take you in. We have so many emergencies today. And that's our vet. They're a 24 hour emergency facility, which is where our regular veterinarian is. So he waited three hours maybe. And they finally said, we're not gonna be able to see you for about eight hours. So he left, went to a different brand new emergency facility here close to our house. And he had to wait about six hours, but we were able to go home and come back and they finally got a diagnosis for her through ultrasound. She had stomach cancer. They found a mass in her stomach. So I'll show you a picture of Butt Butt here. And a lot of people go, why Butt Butt? Why? <laughs> well, her original name when she, this was my husband's cat before I met him. Her original name was Buttons. Well, Buttons, she's not a Buttons. She doesn't answer to but Buttons. If you go, hey, Buttons, come here. She'll just look at you like, please, that's not my name. <laughs> my name is Butt Butt. So that was her name. 
anyway, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the pictures of her. So she did pass away last week and I just wasn't up to doing a video. I just needed a little bit more time. So next week for the beginners, the fabric video, we'll talk about fabric. We'll talk about perforated paper. We'll talk about all kinds of things. So that video is going to be next week along with the announcement of the giveaway winners from the beginning video two weeks ago. So don't think that I forgot about you guys with the giveaways of the charts that I showed. Another passing that's very sad I wanted to mention, I wish I had met her, Barbara Adams from Blackbird Designs. What a, what a loss to the cross-stitch community. She and her partner Alma were designers for Blackbird Designs and I just, that makes me so sad. I I know that she was a wonderful, from what I've heard, she was a wonderful person and I obviously know she's a fantastic designer. So I did want to mention that Barb Adams passed away, which I'm sure you've already heard on your on your um, social medias, but um, I wanted to make sure you heard it from here also that it's just very sad. Let's talk about some free charts. We've got lots of free charts, at least three of them I think that I have on here that are so generous. And let's talk about the first one. Well, Carol, she has an Etsy shop. She is samplers and stitches. And this chart is available. You know, I didn't write the name. Did I write it? Summer. Duh. <laughs> it's called Summer in case you couldn't tell. Uh, anyway, Carol from samplers and stitches. Check out her Etsy shop. But the free chart is located on her blog, which I'll link down below. Very cute chart. Let's talk about the charity freebie chart by, it is called the Scottish Garden. It's also available for free as long as they're only asking that you make a donation to any charity of your choice, which I think is wonderful. I did download the chart, made a donation to my animal rescue nearby that I really love supporting. Stone Street, Street uh, Stitchworks, Scottish Garden. Now, my printer is dying. You can see the ink lines, but I did print it out. And I, like I said, I did make a donation. So this charity chart is only available for one week. And it posted yesterday, which was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. So next Tuesday, it's going to be available for purchase only, I believe, on their Etsy shop. So visit their Etsy shop. Again, it's Stone Street Stitchworks. When you search on Etsy, put it all together as one. Uh, let's see, they shared it on Tuesday. They asked that you make a donation. Copyright still applies always to free charts. No selling of the charts, as you guys already know about copyright. Um, the actual distributing of the chart itself, please keep it just for yourself. I had some trouble printing this. If you go down to the link, I'm going to post the link below. I had a little bit of trouble posting it, I mean, uh, printing it. I did eventually have to log into Google. I did have a Google account and it somehow let me print. So if you guys have problems printing it, just keep trying, log into Google if you need to. And I, like I said, I can't help you with the printing on it because I struggled with it too. Let's talk about the next free chart. If you guys remember Lady C and the underscore line designs on Instagram has offered us another free chart. Now, a couple months back, she released one called Bluebell Manor, and I'll show a picture of it here. I believe it's still available for free, and it's beautiful, but she has a new one, and it's, you guys just won't believe this. So in my Facebook group, Stitching Space Numbers 911 is my Facebook group, she had posted a prayer, a stitching prayer, and everybody kept saying, oh, this is so fantastic, you should make it into a chart. And she did. She made it not just into a chart, she made it into a gorgeous chart. Here's a picture of it here. I'm gonna post a link to it below. Again, it is called the Stitcher's Prayer. It is available for free. Thank you so much to Claire for doing that. I'm reading down below because I wanna make sure I get everything right. Um, let me read the, the prayer in case you didn't get a chance to read what it said. I'll show it again. May your crosses be neat. May my fabric not fray. May my floss not tangle, run out, or go astray. May my needles not break. May the fo frog stay away. May the chart I've been searching for be at my LNS today. May my lighting be bright. May my magnification grant sight. May my hoop and Q snaps keep my tension just right. 
May the peace I create as I work through the day be work I am proud of and forever on display. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to show it again because the border is just so beautiful. So uh, Claire designed this. She's offering it again for free. I will link it down below. And again, visit her Instagram. She is Lady C underscore designs on Instagram. Thank you so much, Claire. The last free chart I want to tell you about is Christmas Eve salt box. If I've showed her free charts before, she has a blog, Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting and Stitching. Beautiful chart, beautiful person. Her name is Melissa, I think. Thank you so much, you guys, for these free charts. They're wonderful. Thanks for sharing them with us. I'll put the link for that down below as well. Okay, we have giveaway winners. We had two winners that won Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. This is available through the Fat Quarter Shop. Lori Holt is being my bonnet. So I have two winners. And I also have a winner for the White Witch chart, which I stitched. I am passing it along to you. So the winner for the White Witch, we have Terry McMillan. I'll show your picture here. Congratulations, Terry. My email address, Stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R, and the number five at AOL.com. Send me your address. I'd be more than happy to send you your chart, Terry. Two winners for Flea Market Flowers. This chart is fantastic. And these are all pretty much my charts used. Now I used it, but what I do is I photocopy and I highlight. So there are no marks on the original chart. These two charts are brand new. So the winners are Long Dog Stitcher. She's my friend. <laughs> I call her my friend. Congratulations. And I will send you an email or you can send me an email and I'll get this chart to you. So congratulations, Long Dog Stitcher. She has a floss tube as well. Check her out. And Bapsy1316 is also the winner. B-A-B-S-Y 1316. I'll show it here. So congratulations, you both. I am very excited to send you guys your charts. Okay. Again, I mentioned the giveaways from the beginning video. Those will be posted next week and announced along with the new beginner video for fabric, perforated paper. What can we stitch on? That's going to be posted next week. I do have two giveaways for this video. Stay tuned. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but I'll show you a little picture of it. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about some finishes. I have one finish that is sort of cross stitch related, but sort of not cross stitch related. I have been wanting to make a strawberry. Now, if you guys have seen cross stitch finishes, a lot of people will take their cross stitch, make it into the cutest little strawberry with the little ribbons on the top. And I've been kind of fascinated wanting to make one. I am not a sewer, I am not a finisher, but I can do the basic stitch on my sewing machine. So I decided I'm gonna give this a try. But instead of my cross stitch, I'm gonna use a piece of fabric in case I screw it all up. At least it's not on one of my finished cross stitches. And I did it. I <laughs> so excited. Yesterday, I spent time in the morning watching my uh, tutorial, fantastic. You guys know, most of you know Vanna Pfeiffer. She is the wonderful finisher and she provides us with free instructional tutorials on her YouTube channel. She is Vanna Pfeiffer the twisted stitcher so check out how to make strawberries how to make pillows how to make trifolds she has it all it's fantastic how to iron i mean that she even has a video on ironing the, the best ways product if she uses products she'll tell you exactly what she uses she's fantastic and it just is awesome to me that i can just learn something from watching her free tutorial I learned so much. So I wrote down a whole pa three pages of notes. I typed them out as she was talking. And then I got a piece of fabric, sat down at my desk and did ex read, it did exactly as she said. And I have a finished strawberry. I'm so thrilled. Again, I took a piece of fabric. Here's the pack that I got. This is part of my stash I was going to show, but I'll show it right now. I got it from, I believe, the Fat Quarter Shop. Did I get it from the Fat Quarter Shop? Autumn Day by Nancy Mink. It's called 10 Karat Crystals. It's a packet 
of, let's see what the size is. Does it say 10 inch squares? There's 42 of them and they're all autumn themed. So what I did is I packaged, I grabbed just one of these squares. You can see they're all autumn themes. And I just took a, a square. In fact, is that the, this one just happens to be, oh yeah, no, it is this fabric. So you'll see this is better. Take it out of the plastic. So this is the fabric I grabbed. So what I did is I really wanted that bird to show. So what I did is I discovered it's called fussy cutting. I took my template, placed it over my, do I have the template here? I don't think I do, but I took Vana's advice. I have just gotten tons of fabric all over my shirt, like little pieces of fabric. <laughs> this is a clean shirt, really. So Vana tells you to take, a, take your cross stitch, make a template, which I did, lay your template over the cross stitch. So what I did is I put the bird right in the middle and he was up a little bit high. I left about an inch down here and I was able to make the bird my focus point for my strawberry. And here he is. Isn't he the cutest little thing? I packed it solid. I mean, there is nothing getting into this thing because um, it's rock solid. She said to pack and pack and pack. She said, get a chopstick and just pack it down until you can't, until you have no lumps and make yourself and follow the rest of the instructions for the strawberry. And I did, I cut a piece of wool. What I did is I tacked it down in four different places, front, back, side, side. And then I added a bow and I tacked the bow down too. So it came out really cute. I've got some pumpkins on it and it's solid. I'll show it up close so you guys can see. I got a nice point at the bottom. I'm so happy with it. I think I would like to make some more strawberries with fabric just to practice some more before I take on one of my finished cross stitches. So anyway, I wanted to show you this. I'm happy. Give it a try. Watch her tutorial. I will put it down below if I can. If I can figure out how to link YouTube videos, I sure will. I'll try and do it. But Vonna Pfeiffer, and it says how to make a strawberry. Simple. And use a piece of fabric before you tackle your cross stitch. That way, if you screw it up, you are just using a little piece of fabric. Anyway, that's... That is it. Look at that white pumpkin. I just think that's so cute. Okay, I'm back. I just had like a choking fit. So I was coughing like crazy and now finally got my voice back. So anyway, your strawberries, give them a try. It's a lot of fun and I think I'll have more confidence the next time I do a strawberry. Maybe I'll do one in the next few days so it's fresh in my mind and it won't take me three or four hours to do. <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun to do. Let's talk about some whips that I've been working on, some works in progress. I have been working on Stacy Nash Stables at Hollyberry Farm. Now I didn't take it out of the hoop because you saw it last week, the border, none of that has changed. What I have been working on is the big house. That house, the white one is giant. And um, as you guys, like I said, you saw it last week. I'll show you my progress while it's in the hoop. There it is upside down. This is my progress. I got all that white done. So what I need to do now is work on doing the upstairs windows. As you can see, I've got a lot more windows to do upstairs and line them all up. And then I can just work on filling in the house, which I've been doing on my Zoom meetups in the last few week, uh, last weekend. I had two Zoom meetups Saturday and Sunday. I was able to join both. So I was able to just fill in the house. That way I didn't make any mistakes while I was on Zoom. All I did was fill in ecru on that pretty house. The next thing I've been working on is my cross stitch camp project for July, which is the group is put on by Colorado cross stitcher, Sherry. She's on Instagram and on Facebook. The theme for July was pick a designer that you have not stitched before. I think it was designer. And I picked Sue Hillis. I chose Dark Shadows by Sue Hillis Designs. I'm actually working on Trick or Treat. 
I am really struggling with the fabric. This will be the very last time that I ever work on the old Week Style Works fabric. Um, I, it, I'm not a fan, but the color is why I'm sticking with it. It's just so beautiful, the color. So this is my progress, trick or eat. <laughs> Seriously, Stace, you couldn't just add one more letter. <laughs> Anyway, that's my progress on dark shadows. And of course, I'm doing this one right here with the bat. I gotta put the bat up on top, but uh, this has been fun except for the fabric. I'm really struggling working on this, this fabric, but I thought that was pretty funny. You guys get a kick out of trick or eat. <laughs> anyway, that's my progress for that. The next thing I have been working on is my Anzac by Long Dog Sampler. The chart is so much fun. I put a lot of progress in it since you've seen it. I'm working up in here. Last time you saw it, I was just barely getting started into here. I've now got the spider and I did some other areas too, maybe down in here. I can't remember, but uh, let me show you my progress on this. This is on 32 count. I believe it's Dusty Road by Seraphim Fabrics. And this is my progress. Isn't that something? Look at that spider. So I got a lot of stitching. It doesn't look like it, but I got a lot of stitching done on where the spider is. I still have to do his web. That's the back stitching. And I still need to do, there's some more up in here to finish this part. So I got that done. I got a little bit more in here but that's coming out that is this is so much fun I think it said I'm about 30% done with this one so it's getting more progress and I'm getting more and more excited getting closer to a finish every stitch counts I've been trying to work on it at least a couple of times a week the next one I've been working on is Sunflower Farm by Kaur Ibatakori that's what it looks like I'll show you the name of the company here because you can see it a little bit better there. Core E Bata Core. And that's it here. I am doing this on, it's, if it's not 28 count, it's 32 count wheat Lugana. And this is my progress. Isn't that pretty? I got more of the border done and I'm working on that last flower. Then I can move on to the house right next to it. So that's, this is really a fun stitch. This is what I pulled out after Butt Butt passed away. I needed something cheery. I needed something to make me smile. And this was it. I love the colors in it. So this has been a lot of fun. Okay, the next one I worked on was Miss Cherry Blossoms by Mirabilia. I have somehow misplaced the picture of the chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert one here. And she's beautiful. This is my progress. I got a lot done. I got a lot done on the bottom of the dress and I got a lot done. I got the, um, let's stand up for just a second. I got this done here and then I was spent all my time working here on the bottom of her dress. And I'll show her close so you can see the krennic in her hair. The umbrella's done. I just need to add beads. Look at her face. Her face is so sweet. And that's the progress that I've gotten done so far on her. She's just so pretty. She's one of my favorites. I'll be working more on her. I um, finally got my scroll rods in. I don't know how to work them yet, but I'm gonna put her on a scroll rod so that way I can work on beading and I don't have to worry about the beads getting damaged in a hoop. Let's talk about some charts that I purchased and a few fabrics that I brought that I got. I did go into the Heaven and Earth Designs website when they had their 50% off sale and got one chart. It is by Cyril Marchetti, African Mammals. Isn't that beautiful? Now, as you guys know, I am doing a stitch along with Dizzy Stitcher. He is on Floss Tube, Darren, my friend. And we're both doing North American Mammals as a stitch along. And I wanna get some more progress into that chart first before I start the African Mammals. I didn't wanna have two giant, uh, more than two. I've got several full coverage going, so I'm gonna wait on starting African Mammals until I get some more progress on my other one. The other chart I got is Arctic Animals 2 by Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. 
as you guys know, I want to do an animal tree. I'm going to switch out the red, white, and blue lights and put some just white lights on, I think, and then do an animal tree. So this is perfect. I've already got a couple animal ornaments going and or finished, and I'd like to start that whale. I think the orc is gorgeous. So I did get this. Again, this is by Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. The other chart I got is a Mirabilia out of print. It is called My Lady's Garden, and it, what drew me is the colors. It's the colors of the turquoise, the, the water in the background, the blues, the turquoise, along with the oranges and the reds, and then of course the flowers. You've got more turquoise and stuff back there. I just think that's so, so beautiful. I showed a, I saw a picture of it stitched up. It's so beautiful. and. It, of course, a chart picture doesn't do it justice till you see it stitched up. And I saw it stitched and thought, I got to have that. So I searched for it and being out of print, it was a little hard to find, but I did find one on Etsy. Next, I got my, what is it called? It's my block of the month quilt. Now I'm a little nervous about starting this. My friend is going to help me do uh, she's going to help me go over the instructions, make sure I do anything, you know, I, I don't cut anything before I go, <laughs> before I run it by her and make sure I'm doing things right. But anyway, my block of the month is where you do a block, which I had to laugh. It's not a block. I have to do three of them this month. So let me take this picture, this booklet out so you can see. This quilt is called Message in a Bottle. It came with the fabrics for the first month. And this is eventually what it's going to look like. Now, the first block I have to do are these pinwheels. These pinwheels right here. The next block I have to do, I believe, is this one down here. And then I have one more after that. Maybe this flower or that flower. So it's actually three blocks a month. I thought it was just one. <laughs> so we'll see if I can do this. Gina thinks I can. So I'm going to see her next week and she'll go over a few things with me make sure I have it all set. So they send me the the fabrics. They clearly label it too. That's what I like. Block number one, block number two, and block number three. So they sent the fabrics for each block and the templates. If I do any applique, you can see there's templates that come with it. So it, it looks like it's a really neat uh, club that I joined. Next month, I'll get more blocks of the month. So I got it through Stitch in Heaven, and that is a quilt shop in Texas. They've been wonderful. They have awesome customer service, very friendly. They even said, if you screw something up and you cut something wrong, give them a call. We'll fix it. We'll make it work. So I think that's pretty awesome. The next thing I got was some fabric from 123 Stitch. Now, I wanted to get some more purple because I don't like the fabric that I'm working on for the Sue Hillis Trick or Treat. I ended up getting, this one is called, it's 32 count Whimsy Belfast Linen. So that is beautiful. That's gonna be perfect for my Halloweens for, to do the rest of the ornaments on that. And it's more sturdy, it's what I like. Um, I wanna see it's picture this plus, but it's called Whimsy. And I got it off of 123 Stitch. The other one I got is called 32 count Storm. I wanted a pretty gray, so you can see these two colors, Storm. That's pretty too. I got some more fabric for my English paper piecing. As you guys remember, I'm doing a creepy, I'll see if I can include a picture here because I don't have it with me, but I ended up getting some more fabric to cut out more of the hexagons. So I got more creepy fabric with creepy trees, haunted houses, and the other one I got is skeletons and a graveyard. So I'll cut these out, more English paper piecing, hexagons. I'm starting to sew them up. When I get them more into a block, I'll show you guys. I got this fabric here, trees, and then I got some B fabric because, I, like I said, I want to do a uh, practice pillow. I've been talking a lot to Michelle McGraw. She's been helping me a lot. She has a floss tube made by Michelle McGraw. You have to check out her little pillows that she makes and her stitching is fantastic. I've talked about her many times in previous videos, but 
she does a lot on her sewing machine and she had said when she very first started that she was brand new to sewing so I'm kind of copying her trying to work my sewing machine and start using fabric to make little pillows because then I can take my cross stitch finishes and feel more confident with my sewing machine and using something like a cross stitch to make it into a little pillow. So what I did is I got some more B fabric and I have more fab. Oh, I have some more fabric down here. This is from the Fat Quarter Shop. This is a great uh, bundle is what they call them, bundle. So I need to, this one's called Eliza fat quarter bundle. So I can use those. Those are all just really pretty colors. I can use them for the backs of my cross stitch finishes. I got some more Halloween. This one's called cute as a button. I got it on the fat quarter shop. A um, little bit better. You can see these better bats and skeletons. So I did get the fat more fabric. And I got Christmas. Christmas finally came out and I grabbed this one so I can start making some practice pillows, some Christmas ornaments and work with fabric a little bit before I use my cross stitches. I don't wanna cut them until I'm confident in using fabric. And if I screw it up, I just grab another piece of fabric. So I ended up getting my threads of the month from Fat Quarter Shop. These are so pretty. Look at these colors that came out this month. Baby Chick, Crushed Pineapple, Peach Sorbet, Sunflower, Candy Corn, and Tangerine. Those are really pretty. Anyway, this is a monthly club through the Fat Quarter Shop for Classic Color Works. I did get one half of the Saltwater Scrapbook designs through Lindy Stitches and the Blue Flower. This is the Blue Flower. I got this from keepsakes in Ohio and I called them up and they sent it to me so I did get this the other half is Lindy stitches similar theme saltwater stitching or saltwater scrapbook so I got part one through the blue flower aren't those cute and I'm planning on getting the really pretty blue that Lindy stitches is offering on her website it is called blue whisperer I think so I plan on getting that in a 32 count and making some ornaments with the blue background and I also have to get Lindy stitches her half of the designs as well here's the last book I bought by Jane Netley Mayhews I had mentioned her on a previous video I believe it was my last video that I purchased two of her books they're animal cross stitches and I purchased the last one this is cross stitch jungle now tell me he isn't the cutest little both of them weren't the cutest things ever this is a hardback book I got used off of Amazon. It is a fantastic book. It is in fabulous shape. There's no marks. Look at that tiger. Isn't he amazing? And the chameleon, they've got, oh my goodness, they just have everything. Peacocks. I'm trying to get, right now I'm looking at the graphs, but I'll see if I can. Oh, look at him, the toucan. Isn't he beautiful? The toucan, I'd like to do them on small fabric so that way like a maybe a 40 count so I can do a really small or even I could do one over one on 28 count make it a smaller ornament. Look at these macaws, aren't these gorgeous? So the whole book is on animals, jungle animals. Let's see, I also got, this was given to me by, uh, as a giveaway, a Quaker Handwork by Brenda Gervais. So this could be a future giveaway chart. Someone had sent it and asked if I wanted it. I, I did, and then I realized I had a second one. So this will be a giveaway eventually. This one I can't remember if I showed. It's a portrait, portrait of Santa, Leisure Arts. This was also sent to me by someone, and I thank you so much. I wasn't sure if I could say names, so I didn't want to say anybody's name, but isn't he beautiful? Gorgeous. And I also got some fabric from Kitten Stitcher. The fabric is actually by the Primitive Hair, I believe. Is it the Primitive Hair? T 
Yes, it is. Uh, Tempest and Ancient Stones. Tempest is the dark blue. This is Ancient Stones. Kind of give you an idea of what Ancient Stones looks like. Let's open it up. This looks really pretty. It looks like an old map in a way. Isn't that pretty? So that's Ancient Stones. And then the other one is blue, the a Tempest. It's a little bit modeling. You can see a little bit of modeling. So that's my stash. Oh, and I also got two needle minders. She has an area on kittenstitcher.com where you can pick, it's a surprise. She's gonna surprise you with two needle minders of, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get. So here I got this little girl. Isn't she cute? Let's see if it's got a name on it. It doesn't have a name that I see. The background says something about 1850, but isn't she pretty? So I got her as a needle minder, and then the other one she gave me is a globe, or the world. I think it's really neat, because I travel, so I think that's really cool. So that's my stash for this week. It was fun getting, and I got more stash from Kitten Stitcher, which I'll show next time. Let's talk about new releases. So we have several new releases that just came out, and they're really pretty, really pretty charts. Now I showed you Arctic Animals too. That was the one that was from the little, you don't put the word the, it's Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. I showed that. We have Madame Chantilly Watermelon Party, which is neat. So, so summery. Waxing Moon Designs, we have Halloween Street. I'm gonna go a little fast because my gardener just arrived and I can hear him outside. <laughs> I don't hope you guys can't hear him. Willow Hill Samplings, remember me. I believe they have a website, Willow Hill Samplings. Next, we have by heart and hand, Halloween Square Dance 2, part two. And then after that, we have North Sampler House on Etsy. They came out with Phoebe Spillet 1869. Next, we have a website called crossstitchingart.com. They just came out with Genevieve. Isn't she beautiful? Now, I've never heard of these guys before. So, Stitching Art Designs is the, the name of the designer. The website, crossstitchingart.com. Carolyn Manning, we have three, and I'm going to put them together. Merlin, Esperalda, and Pixie Dust. These are fun. Next we have by the Resting Eagle on Etsy. It's called Along the River. I thought this was really pretty and I was so happy that she shared it in our group, the Stitching 911 group. Next, Core e Batacore, which I showed earlier. They came out with Summer with the Angels. And then we have Cross Stitch Antiques and her name is Kathleen. She has a floss tube, so check her out. Katherine Armstrong, 1856. Beautiful. Kathleen is so nice. I've ordered through her directly and she's wonderful. Cross Stitch Antiques, they have a website. And last but not least, I'm going to show a couple from Hands Across the Sea. Now check out Nicola's Floss 2 videos because her YouTube videos explain in detail the history of the samplers that she shows and they're wonderful. It's so fun to hear about these samplers. We have Hannah and Ellen Wilkinson, 1835 through 1841. Now the reason for the dates, they mentioned that they are sisters. One of them started the sampler, I believe it was Hannah, started at the age of 11 and then she passed away. Ellen picked it back up and like I said, Nicola will talk a lot more about the history but that's just something brief as to why there's two names and a couple different dates. So that's kind of an interesting history. Um, and like I said, I hope I got the story right. I watched her floss tube and I think that that's what she said is that Hannah started it and Ellen picked it back up. Last we have uh, Rosa Sugars. She was four years old when she stitched this. And again, watch Nicola's video because she talks more about it and it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting to hear about. Okay, before we end, I've got two giveaways. And if you guys guessed it from the beginning, we have two cross stitch magazines, Halloween version 2021. If you're interested in winning this magazine, just put Halloween. That's all you have to put in comments below. 
Don't forget you have to be 18 because I have to ask your address. And in comments below when you do make the comment, don't say the word giveaway or free. And that's it. I think that wraps up our video. It's a little choppy. Like I said, I tried to cut out some of the gardener sound and uh, some messages that kept coming in on my phone. So if you're interested, again, this is the two, I have two of them. So I'm gonna pick two winners for Halloween 2021 edition of Cross Stitch Magazine. Thank you, you guys. All the links will be down below for the free charts. If you're interested in donating to the channel towards giveaways and shipping costs, the Buy Me A Coffee is down there. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. Next week, I will have the fabric, what can I stitch on video is coming for the beginners next week and giveaway winners will be announced in that previous video that I had for beginning stitchers. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.